Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Miss Black Beauty or Black Beauty, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video and stick around to see if you like what you see here. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. So today I am doing like a chit chat, um, maybe like a Q&A planning my makeup type video because I'm not getting ready to go anywhere I'm just literally just in my room just about to play my makeup because I finally organized my makeup um I'll probably eventually show y'all my makeup collection but I'm currently trying to revamp it and like add and like throw out some pieces and stuff like that that's just old but uh so yeah so I just really wanted to say happy Juneteenth everybody happy Juneteenth um no um y'all i gotta get back into my groove um everything just it just feels like i shouldn't be doing this like doing youtube or whatever or trying but um i just feel so bad for just leaving y'all i wasn't trying to leave or anything but like literally so much has happened since my first uh video of the year and um i just came back out of nowhere with a random video um let me zoom in with a random uh video there is a bug flying around and i don't like it with some random video of me um i'm using my viewfinder as a mirror too y'all don't judge me um, this is some um, hydrating primer serum. I lose my train of thought a lot too, so this is probably like a, not a very good idea <laughs> to be talking to y'all and um, while I'm trying to do <laughs> a video on uh, my makeup. But anyway, but yeah, so much has been going on since I posted my very first video, which was of the year which was my um vision board video and that actually has been pretty i feel like it's one of my one of, i got three popular videos so far um a hundred a couple hundred views a couple hundred like a hundred or so views on that um but i i, I ain't gonna complain because hey look you gotta start somewhere and I really thought my meal prep video was going to take off too, but it really didn't. But, you know, hey, it's not like I've been doing this since 2013, you know. Trying to, at least. But, yeah, so much stuff has been going on. Literally, like, after I posted the video, I was in the process of moving. Of moving. And so, of course, having to pack, also having to work. Um, and just finding time to, you know, um, record, edit, and everything like that is just kind of been kind of difficult to do. So, um, when I prime my eyes, it's been, it was kind of difficult to do. I'm going to use my palette here. And then, uh, not only that, but I also had a pop-up shop. And then toward the end of the end of the toward the end of the month, and then I had my birthday, and then you know along with work, you guys, along with work. Um, come on. <laughs> along with working, so y'all be do not mind my blemishes, you guys. Um, anyway, I okay. guess. Uh along with working so it just been very just busy and chaotic the very start of the year and then when i finally felt like i was back into my groove you guys my um 
my laptop messed up on me and I had I was doing like a moving vlog I don't know what that is in but this is kind of mm. I was trying to do a moving vlog and I recorded everything and I was about to start recording like parts of it not recording but editing parts of the video and everything and my computer it was just I just thought it was just slow and uh, I had dropped my laptop a few times and the last time I dropped it it was detrimental to my laptop so um I probably am being too rough on my eyes but y'all blood don't break so <laughs> I probably should just still be careful but uh ooh. so my laptop was already kind of like running slow but um it ended up failing on me and so I lost everything that was on my laptop including pictures um stuff for my business um what else um all my footage my videos that because I literally had uploaded it from my little SD card and put it on my computer and then it was just gone he was trying to salvage it if he could but he couldn't the little repairman so he put a new hard drive into my computer and now it's like brand new but I still don't have that footage I I said I was gonna try to put bits and pieces together of what I did have on my phone and uh but I don't know I don't know I don't I, I don't think it's gonna be anything worth watching so yeah I've been recording a clean with me for like four weeks now I don't know how that's gonna go I got like the only part I got to use my room but my room, I just cleaned my room but I didn't I needed to clean my room up so I was just like I just need to record I mean I'll record another time like to finish it up because I just didn't want to have to move the camera around focus on this do this because it was already gonna be like five hours it took like two days for me to come out don't ask don't ask thank you <laughs> I don't know what this is flying around anyway y'all what's next I got my primer I got my eyeshadow primer and my face primer I think I want to do something for okay I think I want to conceal so I organized my makeup got this from oh this thing dirty oh, I need to wipe it off go ahead and wipe it off got this from TJ Maxx y'all this little makeup thing this right here got all my primers and my face stuff I organized it really well right now I'm trying to conceal and stuff my face my face I don't probably need to conceal that much but I really like this but I'm running out and it's like kind of um almost empty for real like for, and I think it's pretty old what is it what, what's the whatever it is anyway this is just some uh concealer by NYX it's the HD studio photogenic uh concealer I guess I say photogenic and CW84 and the you could tell it's old because a little top thing was coming off but oh lord some itching my nose but yeah so that was what's been going on with my computer so I'm back and I've been trying to get like back into the swing of things and like feeling like up to recording because I'm just like all my little subscribers are gonna be mad at me people were asking me when you're gonna upload a new video and the vlog was just more was probably more interesting but I feel like I do have an interesting life but I just um I don't know Ooh, we're gonna cover whatever's on the nose I feel like I have an interesting life but it's just I can't record everything and I'm working on that too, getting me a more portable camera. Cause right now I have a Rebel, a Canon Rebel uh, T6. I always thought it was a T6i, but it, it's not. It's a T6, and I had it for like three years. So, um, but I really like it just for when I take pictures for my products, like stuff like that. Um, I like it just to take, have to take pictures. Look, we gonna get all of this, honey. 
We can all live a little more. <laughs> What's this? But yeah, I've been trying to update my makeup look. As y'all can see, I did a makeup little video um, for Vlogmas. And it was okay. It was straight. I think I need to do some TLC on my skin. It was okay. But I do need to really, I really need to update my, my, um, makeup looks. Or whatever. Because it's a little, um, it's, it's lacking. It's lacking. I need to do a little something with that. Um. Oh my other I forgot I put my other sponge over there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little brush. I don't know what this brush is for, but I use it for whatever I want to use it for. Whatever it needs, whatever it's uh I need it for at the time. So I'm just gonna kinda just like blend out my concealer. So I do have some questions. I wanna do some uh uh I wanted to do a QA and I figured like this would be a good time to do it. So I did have ask some of my friends to ask me some questions and I'm going to answer them and everything. So yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Don't they look good? I think I don't really know. So let me get let me find the questions really quick. Okay, I'm back and I have the questions from my friends. And um yeah so question number one i'm gonna put it down here is what song would you sing at karaoke night um i don't know I've never really done karaoke uh but if i had to sing a song it would probably be like beyonce <laughs> it would probably be beyonce like Halo or uh, or something from a Tyler Perry movie or something like that. Most likely like or Mary Mary or something. Dang. Mary Mary or something like that. I'm about to um, actually I'm going to put my foundation on. I don't know which foundation to use yet y'all. Probably from something from Mary Mary though for that uh, for karaoke. Or like, cause that's all. That's always like any type of talent. Something it was like Mary Mary or something like that. Like every time I had to sing in front of somebody, I was saying Mary Mary because um, heaven in particular because that was no stop. Um, so I'm gonna use this. I don't know what happened to the lid. I think this is it. Is this the lid? Yeah. So yeah, this is it. Uh, so I'm using this CoverGirl. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see it, cause you know I ain't finna keep zooming in. My phone, my uh camera don't auto zoom. It don't do that. It's CoverGirl, okay, y'all. And it's True Blend Matte Made Foundation, and it's the color D80. And I this is actually new. I was trying to upgrade my foundation or whatever, and so that's what that is so uh yeah that's what that is and i hope it actually looks okay on my skin i don't know we'll find out we'll find out i guess it's time to use my brush instead i forgot to grab and i'm gonna just use a foundation brush one of these dirty dusty foundation brushes and do this second question she said how did you get so beautiful the lord honey the lord didi this is the lord's doing oh, i feel like this will be okay for this video this makeup will be okay <laughs> i don't know let me uh find my camera i think for this video this uh this makeup will be will be fine because it will probably lighten up here shortly and I'm probably gonna blend it out with a brush just because you know I don't know if I'm gonna focus do my eyebrows or not but 
I'm just, I'm probably applying this all wrong, but I don't, look y'all, I told y'all my technique is a little rusty, okay? And then I'm going to take a kabuki brush, kabuki blending brush. I think this is a good one. Or is this the slanted one? That's the slanted one. I got three. I'm going to use this, like the all over kabuki brush. It's a little stiff, but you know, I'm just going to blend it because it really don't matter. I'm just trying to get like a nice little base. And I probably should you I think I was gonna do my eyelash my eyeshadow first and then come in with this, but I'm bring it down a little bit. Even though in the real world we will do the little a little bit better job, okay? This is just for videos, not like I'm about to go nowhere. I'm most likely gonna wash this off as soon as I'm done with the video. So next I'm going to do my eyeshadow. But okay, she said, how did I get so beautiful? The Lord made me beautiful, honey. I have no... <laughs> oh yeah, my mom and my um, dad. My mom and my dad. I mean, the Lord and them, they all got into cahoots and they was like, how can we make this beautiful, magnificent, wonderful child of God? I don't know. Like, they just sat there and they just said, we're going to make her cute. We're going to make her thick. Okay? We're going to make her have a nice sense of humor. A big heart. That's what they said. And then, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Period. Um, it says, what challenged you the most this year during 2020? How did you overcome it? What challenged me the most in 2020 I ain't gonna lie 2020 it was a hard it was hard because I'm just so used to what I'm used to but also I'm a person that don't mind being by myself so it really didn't bother me to not have to like be around people but then again I worked every single day of the pandemic because um I was working I was working fast food so um I worked every single day of the pandemic most I think I had to be like quarantined once um but I mean I don't know like I feel like that part wasn't challenging I feel like the most challenging part was like accepting like except okay accepting the changes but like more so like dealing with my people the people around me who who were having a hard time you know like um it was just kind of like a little bit depressing because it's like you want you you're you like you want to be like me i wasn't afraid of the pandemic but i wanted to be cautious because i had loved ones that can be affected by it just by me you know already being going going to work and then coming home and then i can give it to them and then that could be detrimental to them so it kind of bothered me because you know it just kind of just like I want to be there I want to talk to them I want to hug them you know and I'm trying to hang out with my friends and stuff like that but eventually like as long as we had our masks we was like we hanging out especially when they start everything started getting more relaxed but um I I guess that was the, kind of the challenge and the, I overcame it just by just knowing that it's going to pass it's not going to have to be like this all the time and that eventually we'll be able to see each other again and be you know in the same room with each other and not have to separate every day because i have to work around people that probably not take being as cautious as i am you know so um but other than that i did graduate i got i, I moved twice in during the pandemic um i worked full time during the pandemic um I just feel like it wasn't like a huge huge challenge but I just 
you know, I, there was some uns unsettling things that happened. Like, I, I, a lot of people close, a few people that were close to me, they uh, caught the virus. Uh, had a few people died. So, it was kind of like, like, what is this world coming to? Like, Lord, like, are you coming back to I was a little scared at that, but, you know, I just kind of pushed through because I was just like, if God can do anything, like, he's making it easy for me to do what I need to do. Like, I started a business. It's not that good right now, but I started a business. I finished school. I finished my internship, and that was very tough. The internship was kind of tough. Uh, I, I, I went to work, and I was able to save money. I was able to move not once but twice like i said and then you know um i feel like it was more of a blessing than a challenge you know so yeah let's get off that uh <laughs> what motivates slash inspires you the most y'all i'm probably the last person that needs to talk about motivation and inspiration i got my palette back here that i probably should have gotten before i started filming um I don't, I'm not really easily, like, I always lack motivation. Like, I don't understand. I'm not very highly, I'm not highly motivated, you guys. As you can see, I wouldn't be, um, I wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be taking forever for my channel to take off because I just, sometimes I just fall off or whatever. But I, uh, do, um, I just, I don't know, I just feel like, my experiences motivate me like my life my family motivates me um just thinking about the life i'm gonna have in the future it motivates me i cannot find the right uh brush y'all i'm just trying to find the flat brush um let's see oh, hold on it's um um just thinking about like my kids in the future they motivate me like I just I feel like that's my biggest motivation is my future and like the fact that I don't want to be where I am now in 10 years I want to constantly be growing and um just knowing that there's more to life than just working saving money and coming home and going to sleep and not being able to use your money not be able to use your time and stuff like that so I think that kind of what motivates me to just keep going um also my mom is a big support and motivator in my life so like if i ever feel like i can't self-motivate i can always call my mom and she'll help motivate me reading the bible podcast stuff like that you know okay uh if you could live anywhere where would it be um like i was i was saying for the camera cut off i really don't have a place that I just have to live in order to be like my life is revealed like if I, there's nothing really calling me to go to like another destination or move but if something did like if I got married and my husband's like hey let's move here and I'm okay with it and we agree with it then I'll move but it's not like there's just some place where I just want to just Oh, I gotta live there like my life is not fulfilled if I don't go. That's not me. Like, I'm just like, I'm okay where I'm at right now. I mean, I wouldn't want to live, like, in my hometown, like, where I'm at now. Maybe, like, a couple cities over. But, you know. Um. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink, you guys. Pink, pink, pink. I thought that it had stopped. Pink, pink, pink is my favorite color. What am I doing, y'all? I'm using this little, this subculture palette. It leaves a lot of fallout, y'all. Using this. I love it. As you can see, I like using this gold color, which is just the bomb to me. I need to explore these other colors, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Um, this, I do this look a lot. A lot of my pictures is this look. I use this look in my pictures all the time. All the time. Um, I just need a flat brush, something flat. I'm actually might go. I might actually go over this. Actually, where is my? 
Here it is. I'm gonna see what's in my little Tarte Flirt palette. Um, these got some cute little colors in here. I'm gonna use this, and it smells like vanilla. I'm gonna use this like color right here. It looks like a terracotta, but it's called Touch. Every time we touch. Okay, I'm gonna play it. I don't even know that's on for real. But yeah, okay, next question. Is cereal a soup? No. Cereal is cereal. Cereal will be gazpacho. Gazpacho is a cold soup, ain't it? But to me, soup is hot. This don't this do not match, y'all. I feel like soup is hot. So cereal is not hot. It is cold. So therefore, it is not a soup. It is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't know. I actually do not know. I can't think of nothing smart to answer that question. I feel like a hot dog is a hot dog. No, a hot dog is a sub. So it's a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich because a sub sandwich, a sub is a sandwich. So therefore, a hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> it is peanut butter if peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter what would it be called nut pea butter that's probably not a good thing to say oh my gosh I got fallout under my that was the point of us just putting down that base y'all and I look at this it's gonna blend out anyway I'm gonna blend it out I'm gonna blend it out this may not even be the final look y'all I don't even know what I'm doing. I just be throwing random stuff on my face. TBH. Um. I don't know what to call it. Do you think there is life on other planets? Baby. I got a whole theory. <laughs> I, I literally was just sitting here thinking one day. I was like. What if. Heaven. Is like where outer space is or whatever okay and aliens are actually angels that's what i was thinking i thought that like a few years ago i was like what if it's really just aliens are really just angels or aliens they call you know like they'll be like aliens or something is um their angels or or something like that you know I just I don't know I just was I never really like entertained the thought of, like looking it up and be like hey you know but I totally messed up this other eye but we gonna we gonna make it work it's gonna work out all my looks end up turning out like kind of pretty but I don't know I don't be knowing what I'm doing <laughs> uh see like I hate like one eye can look the bomb and the other eye could be looking a hot mess hate that okay i don't really know i don't really know i never really sat and thought about it but i, I mean i wonder but i never really just like looked it up because i'm a person that gets scared quick easily so so i'm like i don't want to like scare myself and like be looking up stuff and don't even know what i'm looking at so I totally messed up this eye right here. I totally messed up this eye. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I messed it up. But we're going to blend all that out anyway. So I'm going to use this brush right here to blend it out. I usually use it to blend out my eyebrows, but we ain't doing that today. I think we're just going to just do whatever. But, uh, yeah. You're a mad scientist. What scientific experiment would you run if money and ethics weren't an issue? <sighs> Baby, I love science. 
Look, I, I like signed stuff, so. Ooh, what is this? Um, I'm just gonna just blend this out real quick, y'all. Hold on. If I was a scientist, what science experiment would I do? I would probably money or ethics. Hmm. I'll probably invent something that's already. <laughs> y'all, I just. <laughs> I just thought of something. So random, but I, not random. It's not random, but my mama would crack up. Mama, if you remember this, let me know. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I said that mama, <laughs> I'm gonna find a cure for midgets. Meaning, I want to find a cure for dwarfism. When I was a kid, I think I said this is like a second, third grade. Um, so if I was a mad scientist and I wanted to do a scientific experiment, what would I run the, run would, okay, I'm, I'm so, if money or ethics weren't an issue, I would run an experiment on how to cure dwarfism. There you go. Because when I was a kid, I was so serious. I was like, I'm going to find a cure for midgets mama and I'm just like she just laughed at me and I was just like I don't understand you know I didn't understand but I kind of I understand now but I would find a way in my mind I'm thinking like if there was a way to find out if the child was going to have dwarfism before they were born then find a way to like go in and like fix it but I don't I don't know if that's possible but that was what I said but when my, in my mind, that's what I was thinking. I was like, there was a way to go and like fix it before you were born, you know, and that your body will correct it. But I don't know. I'm, I'm as a kid, I didn't understand if that how that worked. So yeah, that's that. The next question is, what is your favorite animal? I always say my favorite animal was a cheetah. Um. But I don't really like animals that much. I don't really like animals that much. So I'm trying to see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like find that palette that I was just using and kind of add a little more color to my eyes. This is, I got this from BH Cosmetics, you guys. Actually, no, I didn't. I got this from TJ Maxx, y'all. I got it from TJ Maxx. And it's like... like that I think it's so cool but I don't hardly use this side at all I don't use that side at all but I sure do use this side a lot I like using these two colors over here the most as you can see but yes so cheetah would be my favorite animal um I'm gonna take this blendy brush that I just used and go back in with the vamp vamp it on my eyes um she said what are things you look for in a man the classic things you know like I want a man that's going to be kind um I don't want to really like share this on social media for real oh my god I just totally messed up my because I don't want nobody trying to pretend like like they the total package but they not but it's the generic like first it's the generic but I just feel like a person that's kind family oriented um a brush to the social issues and political correctness I don't know where it left off, but why does it keep doing that? But I don't know what the part that I ended on. But a family man, somebody that's family oriented, um, likes kids, ambitious, you know, and all that jazz. 
so yeah so i'm going to next we're going to do liner lip liner i don't know how do you say caramel 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 i don't know it just depends on who i'm talking to i low-key like using this um actually i'm about to do it what was this calling me texting me hold on y'all wow why 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 my roommate just texted me and said she's doing a double i'm about to do my looks real quick y'all um caramel caramel i don't know it just sort of come out of my mouth depends on who i'm talking to and how they pronounce it so like if i'm at the at mcdonald's and they're like they advertise this caramel car caramel frappe i'm gonna say caramel frappe you know it just depends hold on y'all this is actually a brow pencil but I use it for my lips and I actually like it And then, then when I get my lip stuff on, we good. And guess what? I'm gonna come back and well, no, I'm not. It just depends, y'all. It just depends. I wish I would have know. I would know with why my camera camera uh be going off or whatever. Cause I'll be in the middle of talking. I don't got time to go back and be like filling in. Uh, going back and like trying to remember what I said. Anyway. So, uh, what what's the correct way to say caramel? I don't think there's a correct way to say it. I don't like conf I don't like conflict and like telling people that this is the this is. <laughs> How you gotta say it this is what we're gonna say no i'm a person that's like i don't want min i want minimal conflict i'm not going i don't want people arguing over something because i believe that there's different ways of doing stuff different ways of saying things oh girl i look rough i look rough so i'm not gonna get on nobody saying something a certain way because i don't i don't really care how which way you say it as long as i understand what you say um but yeah what is the next question what are your car chip food necessities whenever i used to go on trips church trips or whatever i would make sure i have power rate some Doritos, M&M's, Airheads, or Sour Patch Dolls, you know, or like some type of sweet, sour, fruity something. Peanut butter crackers, some water. That, I remember I would always get that. Or some honey buns, you know, like a little bit of everything. Sweet, salty, savory, crunchy, whatever, you know, I got all that. So, I need to go ahead and do something with these brows. I hate doing brows, y'all. Do y'all like doing brows? I hate, I hate doing I'm using this really, really, really light concealer. Actually, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Because this stuff, the, the concealer that I use is already light. But I like, this is the 16-hour camo concealer by uh, e.l.f. So, I'm actually going to apply it where I want everything, so. 
I don't know if I'm doing this right. Let's put a little bit up there. And I'm gonna just I do the top. I look like a tribal sister from the motherland. They wanted me to do like some down here, but I don't remember. Oh, my face, y'all. I feel like I got welcome on my face or something. Um, yeah. ain't gonna do the bottom part. I'm just gonna do this part. And then I got this other 16 uh, hour camo concealer. The first one was in the color Rich Chocolate. And then this one is going to be in Rich Ebony. And this is the darkest one I could find. It was only a dollar at Walmart. Ooh. I like the big giant like applicator I really do oh no it got in my hair I'm pretty sure that we don't have to do it like this no more but I'm going to and now that I know where to put my my put that uh whatever it is Right here. Okay. Now that I look like I belong to like somebody's tribe, I don't know what tribe I'm from, but I would love to know. Um. Anyway, let's get back to the questions. Uh, do you ever drive and just forget you're driving and somehow you make it home alive? All the time. All the time. I don't ever understand how it happens or how I can uh when I use the set and spray to moisten my beauty buns um I don't know how but I just get there girl I get there um do you have a boyfriend <laughs> do i how many do i have you know no nah, i'm single y'all i'm single and i'm trying to decide if i'm just meant to be single or not because i just feel oh this is gonna look rough <laughs> i'll be feeling a little bit like there is not any good men out here i don't understand where are they at and what did i what do i do to get one um but no i am single y'all and i do like this one guy but i'm too afraid to tell him what i how i feel you know the typical you know but i was telling myself the other day like these guys are guys like they're not they're they're people you know guys are people so why are we so afraid of them? I feel like some women are not afraid, but I'm like, but why are we so caught up in what they think of us as women or something like that? I'm like, these guys be feeling the same way we feeling. Want to tell us how they feel, but just can't do it. They just can't do it. And like, I just feel like we gotta get better. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use this Kabuki brush to blend everything out with the rest of it. Cause right now I just feel very 
hate me. Like, like I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. I feel like it's all the lights. They feel like it's the eyebrows. It's something, bro. But I'm single and I don't know if I wear the good guys at. There's, it's not like no one's tried to talk to me, but I just don't give them the time of day. I'm a little bit mean. Maybe it's because I'm just mean, y'all. Maybe that's the reason. What was the reason? I think it's because I'm kind of mean, but I'm not mean, but I just... It's that heart thing, you know? It's that heart thing, and I wear it on my... just run with this thing. I'm just trying to fix my eyebrows, because I told you, Miss Mook. There it go. Yeah, but uh, I'm about to fix this. Cause I totally messed up. Single, wanna mingle. I'm just like I just I've I've, I've been taking a break from these young men, y'all sons, y'all brothers and cousins uncles i've been taking a break from them them because sometimes they i just don't have time for them and i ain't, I ain't gonna give them no time today i just really don't <laughs> what did i do i want to use this so i i'm but i'm currently single right now looking to mingle so Y'all got some cute sons, you know, hook me up. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I'm just playing. I'm not thirsty. Actually, I, I am. I am, am quite thirsty right now, man. Anyway. I, I'm literally, I was thirsty. Oh, Lord, this look a hot mess, y'all. I don't know how to feel about it but while we can on let me go over here and put this uh powder on next question tell us the most embarrassing tell us the most embarrassing thing that happened to me know y'all i'm just an embarrassing person for real i just i always have something crazy going on i'm about to dismiss this beauty sponge so i can add my powder i'm i feel like so many embarrassing things happen to me like i don't know just y'all i don't know so many things just happen to me oh this is an under eye powder Oh, I got the wrong kind. I should have got... Just use this banana powder. Fake, this fake banana powder, y'all. What is something that's the most embarrassing thing that happened to me? Girl, I don't know. I don't remember. A lot of things. I feel like my life is embarrassing sometimes. Like, I'm just embarrassing. <laughs> This video is embarrassing. Ooh, this video could is embarrassing right now. <laughs> For real, like I don't know. I feel like so many embarrassing things happen to me. Like to name a few. One time I said a bad word in church in front of the preacher's uh the pastor's son and all his friends and I said it out loud I'm not sure who all heard me but I was saying like I didn't didn't uh hear it you know didn't say it and just you know 
one time in school I had um we were doing this little honors program thing and you know how they send like these little things in the mail for um they send these little things in the mail like you're supposed to be like an honor student or something like that or some type of honorable mention I don't know what the heck it is but I thought that I was part of like this little scholastic scholars thing something well I if they called and for all the kids to go and everybody was going and we had to get in alphabetical order and I'm over here thinking like I'm in line <sighs> reliving it at this moment <laughs> but no I leave my classroom kind of late following behind everybody else and uh turns out that was some type that was something totally different and it was nothing to do with this actual thing it's like some type of I don't know what it was if I could find it it's like they sent it out to people that I guess doing okay in school and they kind of want you to kind of it's like in seventh seventh eighth grade and uh they send this little thing out to you I guess trying to entice you to make do better in school and get your money or something like that I don't really know what's what it was I never understood what it was I stopped getting them after a while but um I don't know but that was so embarrassing and then my pants were unzipped so like this teacher so I'm in line I'm over here like uh just like get in the alphabetical order princess no, they didn't nobody else knew but I knew so I'm getting alphabetical order I'm standing in line and then here comes one teacher it's like you're not in this field. I was like, well, I thought this was like something, something, something. I don't know what I was saying. I can't remember exactly what it was. But she was like, that's something different, honey. And then I'm just walking. You know, I was like, oh, okay. And I go leave. And then this little teacher, she's like, she's so sweet. She's like, hi, princess. Your pants are unzipped. I was like, oh, thank you. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that was so embarrassing. <laughs> Um, what else? How else do those ever look? When I'm talking to my crushes, how is embarrassing to love? Everybody I embarrass myself in front of. Um, I'm just embarrassing. I'm just an embarrassing person. I don't know. I just, it's, it's a lot. Uh, are you scared to use public restrooms? No. No. Why would I be afraid to use the public restroom? I feel like. What are they there for? You know, like why it's meant to be used, right? I'd rather not. I'd rather go home and use my porcelain potty, but I can't. So I'll go. I got. I look. I got scent powder all over me, y'all. <laughs> but no, I will. I would much rather. Oh, I forgot to set this part of my. Oh, <laughs> y'all. It is not blending. It's not blending. <laughs> Where's the spray? Where's the setting spray? Where's my setting spray? Hold on, y'all, before I keep going. can't see wait I don't know if it's blended out if it's not ain't nobody gonna see for real anyway but I'm taking this eyeliner y'all um I mean what are they there for like I'd rather not you know use it I would love to be at my home where people will not listen to me poop or something like that but if it's emergency honey I'm using that bathroom I'm using the what? I always mess up. Uh, 
Um, what are things you look for in a friend? Um, I haven't made friends in a long time, y'all. Most of the time, we just end up clicking, you know? It's not like... I want, like, friends that, you know, like, they got common sense. They ain't finna be just out here in these streets because... I ain't finna bury no friends, you know, until we, like, golden girls' ages, you know. I'm not finna bury no friends. So, we ain't finna be out here in these streets doing, uh, wildin' out and stuff. Um. Dang. This is hard. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what I did differently. Oh, no! No! Oh my god, you see it? Little black dot? Hold on, y'all. I can't talk on this. This requires all my brain cells. Okay. I feel like this is. I might have to go back in and do some blending on my face. But yeah. Do I like Cleopatra? Um. I just don't want to. I don't want no friends that we just. I like friends that are like kind of chill, but we can cut up. But also, like, I don't want, I know we got common sense. We ain't just going to be out here in these streets starting fights. I don't want to have to bail you out of jail. Like, none of that stuff. Like, if I did have to bail you out of jail, like, you know, okay, I, I would do whatever I could. But I feel like you shouldn't put yourself in that kind of situation. So, I just, like, people with common sense, you know, funny, you know. You know, got a little a spiritual relationship, you know, or something like that, you know. Um... Things like that um okay i'm gonna put on my lashes now this this part gonna take a little while but i got these lashes these lashes are from my <sighs> cosmetic store these are the lashes and angel can you see you can't see it but these are cute lashes y'all these are cute little lashes um i think i have two more pair of angel and then they'll probably be discontinued i don't know it just depends if i'm going to go back and uh, talk to the vendor and get them again but i do not know where is my tweezers there they are. okay so let me oh and it still looks bad Ooh, gotta fix that okay i'm gonna put my lashes on then i'm gonna come back because i can't you y'all saw me putting on that liner and it was tough okay so hold on so got my lashes on y'all so do you mix up your ice cream with the spoon i used to mix my ice cream up with a spoon when i was younger but i really don't eat ice cream anymore like i don't really eat ice cream i know Something's not right with me, right? You know, like, it's not right with me, you know? You know? Look, like, literally, the lashes will transform the look. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I'm going to get my lipstick to help finish off these lips we got here. Next question is, um, tell us the weirdest encounter you've had. Um, or the most, well, she, and then, and then she asked the most weirdest situation. I feel like both of them will be weird. I don't, y'all, I, I feel like I've had so many weird, I feel like I'm just a magnet for just weird random stuff, but, um, let's see, let's think, let's think. I don't know which one I need to want to do, y'all, like, I know I always do like a mauve color on my lips like a nude but I really really want to keep doing the nude color because you know I really like the nude but uh 
I don't know. I have. I feel like I've had so many encounters. I just feel like a lot of weird stuff happens to me. Like, not weird, but like, I don't know. But this one's kind of like, I don't know, y'all. I don't want to say it, because I feel like it's going to be sad. It's going to be... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I don't think I have a weirdest encounter. I feel like I encounter weird stuff all the time. I feel like I'm a social worker, so I'm going to encounter some weird stuff. I gotta add some more lip liner or liner to the lips to kind of help blend it out more. But this is what the lips look like. Um, and we're gonna leave it matte, y'all. How's it look? Does it look good? I don't know. I don't really. I don't think I have a weird, like a weird encounter, but I really can't think of any. Like, I don't know. I think I have plenty, but I, I, I feel like there is something, but I can't think of it right now. But whenever I do think of it, I will come back and tell you, I guess. I don't really know. Because I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Anywho, I'm about to go over with this matte lipstick. I don't know where I got this from. Probably somebody hair store. I feel like they're kind of almost the same color. But I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm probably gonna put some setting powder on there because I want to um, make sure that it's fully matte. But I pretty much think this is it, y'all. But And that was all the questions. I think I did that in like pretty decent time. I think I did that in a pretty decent time, y'all. And all my makeup is not thrown everywhere because guess what? I organized it. Aren't y'all proud of me? Let me um uh, dust off this powder and we will get the bottle look. Okay? I'll be dust off the powder. I was gonna leave, but dust off all ooh all this powder. This everywhere. I feel like my face could be blended out better, but hey, I, like I said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm literally just going to be sitting here and probably doing another video. Then we finish it off with some setting spray. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me setting spray, you guys. I feel a little dry, so. Alright, so. Let me go for a second and then I'll come back and show you the final look. So, this is the final look, you guys. You know, we got my little jewelry, my little earrings. Jewelry. And that is all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. Also, please don't forget to hit the notification bell and that subscribe button so you'll know every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like as well. So, thank you again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't step on the trail. Tempo, tempo. Can you keep up with my tempo? Tempo. Yeah, yeah. Blowing up, see, fall. I just hit the mic, Jackson. No.